I died. Didn't hit leave game quite quick enough. <laughs> Everyone chill out. We could just attempt it again. Don't worry. The angle was fine. It was a test run, right? It was a test run. All right. Attempt number two. Let's do this, baby. At least we know the angle's good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Get ready. Get ready. Keep them going. Okay, we're out. We're out. Did it work though? Did it work? After that first horrific fail, did we manage it? Okay, so we're gonna go now into replay mode and start the replay. And hopefully the idea is, well, I'll show you actually. I'm gonna go all the way over to the end here. I'm gonna go past the point I died. So about to here. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it in gameplay mode. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep it in, mm, I'm gonna keep it in third person mode. Only because I see everyone else keep it in third person mode. I don't know if it actually affects anything. And the idea is, we speed it up. Let's go up to four times speed. No. He's frozen, it didn't continue. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a quick confession. That attempt did not work. I did not quite leave the game quick enough, but I've attempted it a few more times. And my boy is about to float the whole way to the iceberg as this is a successful replay attempt. So here we go. Look at that. So obviously I left the game at the point back there, but my boy is gliding and he is about to glide a long, freaking way away from the island, away from Spawn Island, all the way over to what will be the iceberg behind the storm here. Now, a few things I worked out. I think you have to be in times four speed mode. You have to be in third person mode, which is a bit weird on console because everything's like back to front if you want to control the angle of a camera, but it's fine. Now, <laughs> I don't know how far you can go <laughs> with this glitch or how long it's going to take. And I'm really hoping I bigged up myself for getting a better angle here than anyone else that has done this and I'm not too bad at maths so I, my angle shouldn't be too bad but actually lining it up in game we are so far now we are well past Spawn Island actually lining this up in game especially when you can't actually see this, the iceberg storm cloud itself because there's like the purple storm cloud there for some reason this is going to be interesting so all we got to do now is wait keep on iceberg gliding which by the way I'm pretty sure it's be patched, and if anyone from Epic Games is watching this, this is done in a playground-only environment. Simply a visual glitch. People just want to know what's happening with the iceberg, all right? So this, for those of you guys that haven't seen, still not sure yet, is rumored that this will be hitting the actual map within Fortnite in the bottom left in Flush Factory. I've said several times how it'd be cool to fill in that bottom left part of the map, and it looks like we're about to leave the storm. We're about to leave. Oh! <gasps> We have just exited the the outer ring of the storm of the map and we are making our way, ladies and gentlemen, to the iceberg officially. <laughs> One thing I'm a little bit worried about, I want to end exit third person camera and go into like free row so I can actually go over to the iceberg. But I don't know if it's going to let me do that. This is crazy, man. Yo, are we getting there? Why is there so much purple everywhere? I thought the purple would have gone by now. I think the purple just infinitely loads in. This guy's been escaping for so long. <laughs> oh, yo. I think we're about to hit it. <gasps> we're going through. We're going through. I'm sorry, pause. Okay, if I pause, it's fine. There it is. Yo, it's miles away. Holy moly. It's so much further than I thought. This is a bajillion. Yeah, if I do that, glitches a bit. You can see the other island where we actually came from. So far! Well, getting a good angle is not easy. But we should be close enough, don't worry. We can move the camera over. Oh my gosh, so this replay file is five minutes long. But look in the top right, it's counting down as if it was a full game. And we're almost half an hour, 20 minutes actually, into how long we would have to be skating for to get to this point. <laughs> it's actually so far away. If it's that far away, it's gonna take ages to get to the actual world by the time season seven starts. Ooh, yo, we can start to see it. We are so close now, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's the ice around the iceberg, ladies and gentlemen. We are making slowly but surely our way there. We may almost make contact actually with the ice around, there we go. There we go. There is the castle on top of the iceberg I've talked about in previous videos. We are gliding past the ice itself. Now, this is where things get a little bit scary. Do I try and exit the... Oh, look at that, look at that. The ice is moving. Look at this, look at this. 
The ice is moving. It is actually an animated 3D object. Now, obviously, this isn't as close as I want to get. I picked up getting a good angle. I picked up getting closer than ever. So, we want to make sure we're getting closer than ever. <gasps> That's drone free. Oh, my gosh. We're free. We're free. We're free. We're free. We're free. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh. So, you can't move. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to go back to third person. So, you can't move the camera around. The camera's locked because we're in, like, a dead zone. So, I'm going to keep on going a little bit further past. And then we can go back into... Free mode, that's nuts. And then look at this. So, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. A bird's eye view of all of the ice surrounding the iceberg, which, as we know, is moving. It is actually animated, and it is heading all the way back over to somewhere in that direction <laughs> where the actual island is that we started off in. There's so much ice. Yo, I'm telling you, man, if all that ice smashes into and hits the side of the island, it's gotta make a new part. I don't want flush factory to be replaced. I want there to be a new part of the map. We can zoom in. This is it. This is where we really start to get free control. So we can zoom in on the ice here. You can see good quality. It's cracks. It's animated. I don't want to play it quite yet. I'm really worried it's going to bug us out back to where we started and we'd have to restart the whole thing. We've got all of the storm clouds obviously around here as well, which is covering this island. This is really the main chunk, the big bad boy itself. And that, that my friends, is the castle. Now, I actually messed up a teeny tiny bit here because I always play Playgrounds mode with day on for good thumbnails, it looks better, you can see what's going on. But if I did this replay mode in nighttime, the lights would actually be on in that castle. Which people are theorizing, obviously, that someone is in the castle. Uh, obviously, with the aimbot skin having the frozen beak, people think maybe that the frozen uh, female version of the aimbot skin could be in there. Or this is where he's originated from, basically. And he has come with some sort of mission to mess up the island that we know as the map in Fortnite Battle Royale. So this is as close as I can get. I mean, this is so much closer than I thought we'd be able to ever get. This is nuts. Whatever is in that castle will be coming soon is most likely the, the whole reasoning and changing of whatever will be happening within Season 7 of Fortnite. We've managed to get all the way there. Right, I'm going to try and press play. Yeah, wow. Wow, look at that. You can see everything moving. And this, this basically changes every few days. It gets a little bit closer. Not quite as visual as like the meteor. Actually, you know what? The meteorite in the sky wasn't very visual either. Let's not lie. We've got all of the clouds moving. Doesn't look like anything itself on the actual island is mu moving. But obviously, the ice around it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an up close and personal look at the iceberg, at the castle, at the ice surrounding it. Coming soon, no doubt, with the launch of Season 7 this week. Make sure you subscribe. Give it a thumbs up for this up close and personal look. Let me know if you give it a go yourself. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for season seven teasers. It's going to be exciting. Oh, I can't wait.